an important feature of an RCP is that you should be able to bring the camera you're adjusting up on a uh, monitor close to the CCU operator. And um, an iconic way of doing that is pressing the button on top of the joystick. In this case, we also provide a button just next to the joystick that can perform the same, fun uh, same function. I say can because you can reconfigure things as you like, but by default, it does what the label tells you. It will preview the camera you're adjusting. Okay, so come over here and let me show you how you set this up. Because you can use uh, this one to both bring the camera up on an ATEM auxiliary channel or a video hub, or you can even use it to trigger a GPI um, pin on this plug, which is compatible with the Sony EXT-IO plug. So pin one, two, and three uh, basically gives you access to an internal relay uh, for this. Likewise, I think pin number eight is used on some Grass Valley RCPs or similar. And uh, that's an input. And the input in this case can be used to decide uh, the camera tally, whether this display has a red backlight or if it has a different color. So again, we need to look at the web interface to see how this is configured. So um, let's go to uh, the button on the joystick. You can see the graphical representation. And um, I just press the button on the joystick and that gives me access to configuration. So as it stands right now, we are uh, changing auxiliary one on an ATEM switcher and we are setting it to seven. So this is assuming the RCP is currently working with a camera that goes into input number seven on an ATEM switcher. It's also configured to toggle mode and that means as I press the button, it brings input number seven on the auxiliary, but it remembers what was on that auxiliary channel just before. So as I press the button again, it reverts back to that source, and that could have been program, for instance. There's also another option. You could have chosen hold down, and hold down, which might be a more typical way of operating this, is it will put input source number seven on auxiliary for as long as I hold the button. And when I release it again, it will revert back to the previous input. So what if I, uh, and hey, yeah, by the way, this the preview button is uh, configured, I guess, in mostly the same way. So let's just check. We uh, go back to the graphical representation of the RCP, press the preview button. And again, here you see exactly the same configuration. Ah, that's a great case, actually, because what I can show you now is if I just scroll up to the button, which is the one we looked at before. So let's say we want to use a video hub to do this. So we say video hub route input to output. All right. So uh, video hub. So uh, we need to figure out what is output for the CCU operator. Let's say it's output number 14 and it's input number seven uh, corresponding to the ATEM input. And it's already in hold down mode. So as I hold down the, the button, it will uh, make this route input to output number 14 and revert back to whatever was on uh, output 14 before we executed this operation. And now comes a nifty little feature, which is that we can use these insert copy buttons. So as I press this one, I'm copying this configuration and then I can just insert it down here. So look at the magic because here for my, my preview button, as I press insert, it will immediately insert the configuration of the button I used up there. That's really awesome JavaScript. I wrote it myself, so. <laughs> uh, but I, yeah, it was, it was even fun making. Well, um, so in this case, I easily changed these two buttons to communicate with the video hub instead of an ATEM switcher. And what if I wanted to trigger a GP, uh, the, the GPI uh, trigger on the back of the device? Uh, in the same way you can configure this, um, typically 
you would use an internal register. So you set a, a value in that internal register and then you hook up the GPI or the output pin to reflect the value of that register. And that would flip a, ah, yes, that would flip a, um, the, the, um, yeah, the voltage on the output pin or basically it's the relay. And um, then for that to work, you would have your RCPs connected to a box like this, which is a product we sell too, which is um, a GPIO box, general purpose. So it has, uh, in this case, a dual input output uh, array of um, yeah, uh, pins here. So um, on each of these blocks, you have eight inputs, eight outputs. You can have them in single too, but each RCP would be uh, routed to a pin on this plug, and then this box makes sure to uh, switch your ADEM switcher or your uh, video hub and so forth um, because you use an electrical connection. So that's three ways of previewing ATEM auxiliary, video hub, or GPI.